What is up guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be reviewing another product from NPET. They keep sending me products guys, which I'm really grateful of. I could get I get to keep these and show them to you guys and possibly later in the future I will be able to give you guys some gaming keyboards or some cool accessories for pets that they sell. So this time they sent me down their NPET pet fountain. I've always wanted one of these guys, especially for my dog because it purifies its water. This thing literally purif purifies its water and it keeps it like a little fountain. So I, in the past years, I've always wanted to get one for my dog, but I've never seen to buy it. So this time they actually sent me down one of theirs for free, which I'm really grateful of guys. I'm thankful for that. So if you guys want to go check it out, this product will be linked down below. You can, you can find it for a really cheap price on Amazon. So today we're going to be reviewing it. So some of the specifications on the box are anti-dry protection, ultra quiet pump, visual window, and simplicity water container, and it has low voltage water supply, and has large water capacity. This thing can hold up to two liters of water, guys, and it will keep cleaning it. It has two water flow modes. So one side of the box has fountain mode, and one of the other, and the other side has waterfall mode. As you can see, they're both really cool modes. Me myself would prefer fountain mode because it's more, uh, I think it's more cool to see and experience than just fountain mode because fountain is pretty much the normal thing. But we've never seen waterfall mode. I, I wonder what it is, but by the title, I know it, it's good. So there you have it, guys, the specifications and all that. Now we're going to box it on the table and we're going to see how it grows on the inside and how to set it up. Let's get to it. I'm going to tell you guys that they actually sent me down a pet seat cover you guys might not know what that is i didn't know about it either until they sent it to me and they showed me a picture they showed me a picture of how it rolls and i gotta say this is pretty useful if you have a pet when you take it to the groomer or you take it with you on a trip this is an essential that for sure will help you with your dog on trips on the car now we're going to be reviewing it as well towards the end first we're going to be reviewing the pet fountain so if you're into pets, this video is good for you. So here we have the fountain, guys. Just took it out of the box and w nothing came in the box, just the fountain itself and this bag. But I'm pretty sure it has some accessories somewhere in there because it just can't be the box itself. You know what I'm saying? So brand new, boys. Now, what is this? I believe that's for fountain mode. And here is the water flow where it comes down. I believe that's how it works. I've never tried one of these guys first time, literally. So here we have an NPET pet water fountain filter element. So this is where the, the filter, I believe this cleans the water and a airbag. Okay, nice. And a user's manual, which I will be needing. And I don't know what this is, just in a plastic with tape. So I'm just gonna unbox it. looks like a little charger I think I have no idea what this is guys sorry for my uh, misunderstanding but I have no idea what this is I believe this is what powers the thing I think that's what probably it is put it to the side and we have a pump a pipe I believe this is for fountain mode you put it like this and it sprink it sprays out the water like a uh, fountain mode, basically like a sink where you wash your hands. But this will literally, this is for drinking. So put that to the side, anything else in here. We have a card. Thank you for purchasing from NPET. I did not purchase this, but okay. And we have a little red plastic. Some other little plastics in there. Okay, let's look at the user menu. Here we have the user manual. I have to look at it before we try it out because I have no idea how to put, put this in. So it comes with six parts. It comes with a storage. It, has, it comes with a faucet water outlet. So it's like a sink, but it, as I said, it pours out water for the dog to drink. It has a water storage tray and has a filter tray and has a water container, of course, and has a pump. Okay, so I believe the charger I said, it is not a charger, it is a pump. Just that it looks like a charger because of the USB port in the end. We'll figure that out later. So it's a pump. And then we have the filter of course. So here's a product diagram. And step one, please place the cleaned filter in the filter tray. So we're gonna do that. Gotta open the filter up. It's really quick. So I believe 
the filter tray is this here. Yes, this is the filter tray I just checked and it goes like this. Okay, I just read on the manual it says the black side should be facing up. So I'm just gonna place it in there. Kind of compressed. Okay, first step is accomplished now. So now step two, which says stick pump to the fixed position on the tank. So the pump, which is this, pretty long wire guys, not gonna lie. Probably like six feet. So it says, it says to place the USB side like this on this little tray here. It comes out over here, I guess. And then this side, I believe these sticky pads are there for a reason to place on this container inside. And, and the wire, I believe, should come out um, on the bottom end of the tank. And here's the side where you probably have to put it to charge so it could pump the water. And step three, which is add water to the tank. And it says to make sure the water level is between minimum and maximum indicator. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring some water, guys. So I brought back some three water bottles here to pour in the container. I hope I'm doing this right, guys. And as I plugged it in, I saw a little red symbol there. I don't know what that means, but we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and pour some water in here. So it says this should be between minimum and max. I'm barely not even in minimum, so it means I have to add more water. Okay, there we go. It ch it changed to it changed colors, so it is in blue right now. So I believe you have to add more water. Okay, there we have it. It is currently between minimum and maximum, exactly. So I believe this is good enough. So this is how it works. And we still have two more steps to go. Step four says align the water storage tray with the pump. So we still got to open this pump up. Let's open it up. I hope I didn't do anything wrong because what if it literally just breaks or burns wires or something. So here we have the pump where I'm pretty sure it goes like this. But first I have to put it in the tray, like this. So currently placing it bottom like this. It was after some few hours, I barely figured this out guys. It was pretty hard and I had to do some little moves there and I barely figured it out, you know? And this is fountain mode. I don't even know how to set up waterfall mode, but um, I'm just gonna end, go ahead and end the video like this. You know, fountain mode, really cool. And it does have really nice pressure because if it's too much pressure it'll scare the dogs away they're not going to drink water from something that's going really hard this is just something soft and uh, calm you know i love this i've always wanted to buy one of these for my dog so i'm thankful for the having one of these that i was able to get for free so as i said if you guys want to check one of these out it will be linked down below in the description it is really cheap you can find it on amazon if you want you can search it up yourself on amazon it is called the npet pet fountain and it will immediately come out so thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out